Dear friends, welcome to the Sunday Gospel Reflection on the Solemnity of the Ascension of Our Lord. Theme, a community with its eyes on the earth. The Conclusion of the Holy Gospel According to Luke At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer, and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send a promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple blessing God. The Gospel of the Lord. Ascension does not mean going up, but the entry of Christ into the glory of God. Jesus did not remain a prisoner of death. He crossed through the veil of the temple, separating the world of men from the world of God. Death is no longer frightening because Jesus has transformed it into birth to the life of God. Jesus has not gone away from us. He is with us. What has changed is his way of being present. But his presence is no less real. Before Easter, he was limited by what limits us to. If he was in one place, he could not be simultaneously in another one. If he was near some people, he was far away from others. If he got tired, he had to rest. He is now in the glory of the Father and can be close to all of us all the time. Ascension has not diminished his presence, but has multiplied it. This is the second reason for his disciples and us to rejoice. With the entry of Jesus into the glory of his Father, has anything changed here on earth? Externally nothing has changed. Why then rejoice that Jesus has ascended into heaven? For us who believe that Jesus ascended into heaven, we see the world and all that happens to us with different eyes. Everything has meaning, nothing saddens us. We know that in spite of all our misery, the Lord is building his kingdom of love and peace. We have seen it happening to Jesus. God did not stop him from becoming a victim of hate and injustice but used the greatest human sin to realize his masterpiece of salvation. We know that Jesus never left us, that he is always with us every day, but we are also aware of our frailties. The difficulties of the mission entrusted to us are frightening. If we were to count on our own strength, we would have good reason to be pessimists. But knowing that Jesus has returned to the Father and has sent us his Spirit, why should we be afraid? Let us pray. Jesus, divine Master, in your ascension into heaven, you give us hope that we are no longer alone. You are always with us since you are held back by human limits. May all fear doubt and anxiety be dispelled by your ever-loving presence within and among us. Amen. <laughs>